Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about uh, Microsoft Teams custom backgrounds um, for your video chats. Um, so hopefully you guys find this useful. If you do, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and if you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified of all future um, releases. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is just jump into a Microsoft Teams um, meeting by clicking the Meet Now button just down in the posts. Um, just click Meet Now. Um, wait for this to load up for a second. Right, there we go. So my webcam is active. Um, so as most of you are probably familiar, if we go over to the ellipsis, click on show um, background effects, um, we can see all of the preloaded backgrounds that Microsoft have added into Microsoft Teams. Um, unfortunately, they have yet to release the upload function that basically lets you um, upload your own custom backgrounds and so what I'm going to do is show you a way to navigate to their upload folder um, from the file explorer and um, so what we do is we just close this meeting down and minimize teams now what you first thing that you're going to want to do is navigate over to your um, local C drive um, you can get to that from my PC or this PC local C drive. Once you're in your local C drive, navigate to the users, double click that, find your username, um, so for me, Nikar. Um, now, your next folder that you're going to look for is called App Data. Now, if you haven't got your hidden folder um, checkbox selected, you can navigate to that by going up to the view and then just making sure you have checked the hidden items. If you do not have that checked we cannot find the app data so click view hidden items and then up here okay so we'll click into app data we'll then go to roaming and from roaming we're going to go to microsoft it's important that we don't go into the microsoft teams folder um, because you will not find what we're looking for just go straight into microsoft um, from here we're going to scroll down and then we find teams okay so we're going to teams here and then the very first folder you'll see is called backgrounds. So if we double click into that, we can see the preloaded um, backgrounds that Microsoft have already um, included in the application and the additional uploads folder. So this upload folder, if we click into there, we can see that it is empty. So this is the folder that we're going to put all of our custom backgrounds into. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link to this um, file location in the description so you can just copy and paste that um, directly into your file um, explorer um, so this here is a folder of backgrounds that I am going to pull over and I'm just going to drop them straight into the Microsoft Teams backgrounds uploads folder right with that done all I now need to do is go back to Microsoft Teams click on meet meet now um, wait for that to load and then what we're going to do is click on the ellipsis, click on show background effects and scroll through here. And now we have our custom backgrounds. So the first thing that we're going to notice is I've actually included a couple um, of backgrounds with text on them. And if I just apply this one, you can see how it works in a mirror effect. All the wording is now um, backwards. So what you do is you actually take that background image and flip it. And when you flip it, um, it will now be presented uh, with the correct uh, way around in essence. Um, but I've added a few different custom backgrounds, um, the old Simpsons couch for example. Um, I've also added uh, some branding here, so that office guy for example. So you can add as many custom backgrounds as you like um, and literally just drop them all into that folder and, and that is it guys. Um, so I hope you found this useful, if you did please hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Um, and check that bell notification and I'll catch you in the next one.